Hi friends, welcome. This is the part 6 of our Mechanical Engineering Competitive Exams Theoretical Questions and Answer Series on Strength of Materials. So friends, let's begin. Friends, this is question number 251. The maximum reflection of a cantilever beam of length L with a point load W at the free end is. Here friends, these are the options and here correct answer is option A that is WL cube upon 3EI. Next is the maximum deflection of a cantilever beam of length L with a uniform distributed load of W per unit length is. Here friends, uh, capital W is equal to small w into L and here friends, these are the options and here correct answer is option B that is uh, capital W L cube upon 8 upon 8 EI. Next is in a cantilever beam of length L subjected to a uniformly distributed load of W per unit length, the maximum deflection lies at the fixed end. Options are yes or no. So here friends, correct answer is option B that is no. Next is two cantilever beams A and B as shown in figure. This figure friends, the ratio of maximum deflection of beam A to the beam B is. Here friends, these are the options and here correct answer is option D that is 48 upon 7. Okay. Next is question 55. Two cantilever beams A and B as shown in figure, this figure friends, the ratio of maximum deflection of beam A to beam B is, here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option B that is 8 upon 3. Next is a cantilever beam of length L carries a gradually varying load from 0 at free end and W per unit length at the fixed end, the maximum deflection lies at free end fixed end mid span here correct answer is option a that is free end next is the value of the maximum deflection for a beam given in question number 256 that is this question friends is here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option c that is small w l raise 4 upon 30 ei next is the maximum deflection of a fixed beam carrying a central load central point load lies at here options are fixed ends center of beam l upon 3 from the fixed ends none of these so here friends correct answer is option b that is this one center of beam next is the maximum deflection of a fixed beam of length L carrying a central point load W is here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option C that is WL cube upon 192 EI. Next is the maximum deflection of a fixed beam of length L carrying a load uh, W uniformly distributed over the whole length is here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option D that is WL cube upon 384 EI. Next is the two fixed beams or beams A and B as shown in figure. This figure, the ratio of maximum deflection of beam A to maximum deflection of beam B is here. Friends, options are 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 4, 1 upon 8. So, here, correct answer is option A that is 1 upon 2, that is half. Next is the product of Young's modulus E and moment of inertia I is known as options are modulus of rigidity, bulk modulus, flexural rigidity, torsional rigidity. So here friends correct answer is option C that is flexural rigidity. Next is a simply supported beam A of length L breadth B and depth D carries a central load W. Another beam B of the same dimensions carries a central load equal to 2W. The deflection of beam B will be as dash as that of beam A. Options are 1 fourth, 1 half, double, 4 times. So here friends correct answer is option C that is double. Next is a simply supported beam A of length L, breadth B and depth D carries a central point load W. Another beam B has the same length and depth but its breadth is doubled. The deflection of beam B will be 
dash as compared to beam A. Here, friends, these are the options, and here correct answer is option B, that is one half. Next is a simply supported beam A of length L, breadth B, and depth D carries a central point load W. Another beam B has the same length and breadth, it is, but its depth is doubled. The reflection of beam B will be double as compared to beam A. Here options are right or wrong. So here friends, correct answer is option B, that is, it is wrong. Next is question 266. Okay. Question 266 is here, two simply supported beams A and B of the same breadth and depth carries a central load W as shown in figure, this figure, the reflection of beam B will be dash as that of beam A. Here friends, options are one half, double, four times, eight times. So here friends, correct answer is option D, that is eight times. Next is two beams A and B carrying a central point load W as shown in figure this figure the deflection of beam A will be dash as compared to beam B here friends options are one eighth one fourth one half and double so here friends correct answer is option B that is one fourth next is question 268 match the correct formula for deflection given in group B for the beams given in group A now here friends here it is for here question for beam a here correct answer is option c that is this one that is wlq upon 3ei for next question next beam is reflection is a option a is the correct answer that is wlq upon 8ei for c here for this beam, option E is the correct answer, that is W L cube upon 48 EI. For beam, this beam, option uh, for uh, beam mentioned in D, option D is the correct answer, that is W 5 W L cube upon 384 EI. Next is for uh, option B is the correct answer that is uh, here this one WL cube upon 192 EI for next beam for last beam option F is the correct answer that is w next is question number 269 the product of the tangential force acting on the shaft and the distance from the axis of the shaft that is uh, radius of shaft is known as uh, here friends, options are bending moment, twisting moment, torsional rigidity, flexural rigidity. So here friends, correct answer is option B, that is twisting moment. Here, the product of the tangential force acting on the shaft and the distance from the axis of the shaft, that is radius of shaft, is known as a twisting moment. Next is... When a shaft is subjected to, to a twisting moment, every cross section of the shaft will be under tensile stress, compressive stress, shear stress, bending stress. Here, correct answer is option C, that is shear stress. Next is the shear stress at the center of a circular shaft under torsion is zero, minimum, maximum, infinite. So, here, correct answer is option A, that is zero. Next is the shear stress at the outermost fiber of a circular shaft under torsion is zero, minimum, maximum, infinite. So here correct answer is option C that is maximum. Next is here the torsional the torsional rigidity of a shaft is given by here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option B that is T upon theta. Okay. Next is when a shaft is subjected to torsion, the shear stress induced in the shaft varies from here friends, these are the options and here correct answer is option C that is 0 at the center to the maximum at the circumference. Next is the torsional rigidity of a shaft is expressed by the torque required to produce a twist of 1 radian per unit length of a shaft true or false so here it is true so option a is the correct answer next is for a shaft the shear stress at a point is dash the distance from the axis of the shaft 
इक्वल टू डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू नेक्स्ट इज द पोलर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ अ सॉलिड सर्कुलर शाफ्ट ऑफ डायमीटर डी इज हियर फ्रेंड्स दीज आर दी ऑप्शन एंड हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज पाई डी रेस फोर अपॉन थर्टी टू नेक्स्ट इज द पोलर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ अ होलो शाफ्ट ऑफ आउटर डायमीटर कैपिटल डी एंड इनर डायमीटर स्मॉल डी इज हियर फ्रेंड्स दीज आर दी ऑप्शन एंड हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज पाई बाय थर्टी टू इन टू ब्रैकेट डी रेस फोर माइनस स्मॉल डी रेस फोर नेक्स्ट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट टॉर्शन इक्वेशन हियर फ्रेंड्स दीज आर द ऑप्शन एंड हियर दीज आर दी ऑप्शन एंड हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज टी अपॉन जे इज इक्वल टा अपॉन आर इज इक्वल सी थी टा अपॉन एल नेक्स्ट इज द टॉर्क ट्रांसमिटेड बाय अ सॉलिड शाफ्ट ऑफ डायमीटर डी कैपिटल डी इज हियर फ्रेंड्स दीज आर दी ऑप्शन एंड हियर टाव इज इक्वल टू मैक्सिमम अलोवेबल शेयर स्ट्रेस एंड हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज पाई बाय सिक्सटीन इंटू टाव इंटू डी रेस थ्री दैट इज डी क्यूब पाई बाय सिक्सटीन इंटू टाव डी क्यूब नेक्स्ट इज टू सॉलिड शाफ्ट ए एंड बी आर मेड ऑफ द सेम मटीरियल द शाफ्ट ए इज ऑफ फिफ्टी एम एम डायमीटर एंड शाफ्ट बी इज हंड्रेड एम एम डायमीटर द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द शाफ्ट बी इज डैश एज दैट ऑफ द शाफ्ट ए वन हाफ डबल फोर टाइम्स एट टाइम्स सो हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज एट टाइम्स हियर नेक्स्ट इज In the torsion equation, T upon J is equal to tau upon R is equal to C theta upon L. The term T upon, sorry, term J upon R is called. Options are shear modulus, section modulus, polar modulus. None of these. So here, correct answer is option C. That is polar modulus. Next is the polar modulus for a solid shaft of diameter D is here, friends. These are the options, and here correct answer is. option b that is pi d cube upon 16 next is the polar modulus of a hollow shaft of of outer diameter d and inner diameter small d is here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option c that is pi by 16 into bracket d raise 4 minus small d raise 4 upon capital d next is the torque transmitted by a hollow shaft of outer diameter d and inner diameter small d is here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option c that is this one pi by 16 into tau into bracket d raise 4 minus small d raise 4 upon capital d next is a shaft revolving at omega radian per second transmits a torque t in newton newton meter the power developed is here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option a that is t into omega watts next is two shafts a and b transmit the same power the speed of shaft a is 250 rpm and that of the shaft b is 300 rpm the shaft b has the greater diameter options are true or false so here correct answer is option b that is it is false next is two shafts a and b have the same material the shaft a is a solid of diameter 100 mm the shaft b is hollow with outer diameter 100 mm and inner diameter 50 mm the torque transmitted by the shaft b is dash as that of shaft a here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option d that is 15 upon 16 okay next is the strength of shaft is judged by the torque transmitted by the shaft yes or no so here yeah it is yes it is true okay so option a is the correct answer next is two shafts a and b are made of same material the shaft a is solid and has diameter d the shaft b is hollow with outer diameter d and inner diameter d upon 2 the strength of hollow shaft in torsion is dash as that of solid shaft here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option d that is 15 upon 16 okay next is two shafts a and b are made of same material the shaft a is of diameter capital d and shaft b is diameter of capital d upon 2 the strength of shaft b is dash as that of shaft a options are 1/8 1/4 1/2 
four times. So, so here correct answer is option A that is one eighth. Next is when two shafts of same much same length, one of which is hollow, transmits equal torques and have equal maximum stress, then they should have equal options are polar moment of inertia, polar modulus, diameter, angle of twist. Here correct answer is option B that is polar modulus. Next is a circular shaft fixed at A has diameter D for half of its length and diameter D upon 2 over the other half as shown figure this figure friends if the relation if the rotation of B relative to A is 0.1 radian the rotation of C relative to B will be here friends these are the options and here this is the figure okay and here correct answer is option C that is 1 upon 1.6 radian is the correct answer for this question next is for the two shafts connected in parallel and subjected to twisting moment the angle of twist of each shaft will be same yes or no so here correct answer is option a that is yes it is true next is the strain energy stored in a solid circular shaft subjected to shear stress tau is here friends these are the options and here c is equal to modulus of rigidity for the shaft material and here correct answer is option d that is tau square upon 4c into volume of shaft next is the strain energy stored in a hollow circular shaft of outer diameter d and inner diameter small d subjected to shear stress is here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option d that is tau square upon 4c into bracket capital d square minus sorry capital d square plus d square upon capital d into volume of shaft Next is when a shaft of diameter capital D is subjected to a twisting moment T and bending moment M, then equivalent bending moment ME is given by here friends. These are the options and here correct answer is option C that is half into bracket M plus under root of M square plus T square. Okay. Next is when a shaft of diameter D is subjected to twisting moment T and bending moment M then the equivalent twisting moment T E is given by here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option A that is under root of M square plus T square. Next is when a shaft of diameter D is subjected to twisting moment T and the bending moment M the, then maximum normal stress is given by here friends. These are the options and here correct answer is option C that is pi upon 16 upon pi d cube into bracket m plus under root of m square plus t square. Next is when a shaft of diameter d is subjected to a twisting moment t and a bending moment m then the maximum shear stress is given by here friends these are the options and here correct answer is option a that is 16 upon pi d cube into bracket under root of m square plus t square so friends in this video we have completed our part 6 of our mechanical engineering competitive exams theoretical questions and answer series on strength of materials Thank you friends for watching this video, like, share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.